I'll show you how to use Chakra AI to build this QR code generator app. So the way it works, a user pastes in a website URL into this input field and clicks the generate code button. And instantly this website URL gets transformed into a QR code that you can now download and share. So this is a very simple but powerful app and we're going to be using Chakra UI QR code components to develop this application. So let's dive right in. This is a VIG project and I already have Chakra UI installed and set up in this project. So all I'm going to do now is add in my QR code snippet. So I add this in and this instantly adds our snippet into our components folder right here. So I have my QR code snippet here. We'll start by setting up the layout for the header. So I'm going to add in a box here and just put QR code generator. Now I'll give this box a couple of styles. For the background, I'm going to use the semantic token BG. Give it a box shadow of medium. Add in a font size of 2XL and a font weight of bold. We have our QR code nav created. The next step now is to add in the heading and the text. So to do this, I'm going to use a VStack component because I'm going to stack the heading and the text vertically. So I had in the heading component from Chakra and this would be transform your website URL into a QR code in seconds. Make the size of the heading a 3XL. And now for my text, of course, I import it from Chakra. I have the text already copied to clipboard, so I'm just going to paste it in. And using the semantic color token, I'm going to set the color to fg.muted, which is like a slightly gray color. This is already looking good. We'll just add in a couple of more styles. So first up, I'm going to wrap this VStack within a container component. So the container, you know, sets a maximum width that this content within it would occupy. So I import container and wrap it around VStack. I give my container a maximum width of 5XL, which is a token that Chakra AI provides. And I add in a padding Y of 10. Yeah. Also add a text align to my VStack components. I make this center. Yeah, this is what we want. The next step is to add in the form where users will input their website URL. So to create this form, we're going to use the Chakra UI card component. So I'm going to import card here from Chakra UI. Now, this will be card.root. And within the card.root component, we're going to give it a card.header subcomponent. And within, I can stack the text that I want. So I'm going to also add in a stack component right here. And I'm pasting all of this. So the repo for this code will be in the description box below. Don't feel the need to follow the code step by step. If you ever want to reference anything, feel free to check out the GitHub repo below. Let's see what we have. Yep, this is looking good already. Now we put in the card.body, which is like the card body. We add in inputs from Chakra UI. And this takes a placeholder of, I can just say, enter website URL. 
one thing we need to do is introduce the field component. So this field component came in in Chakra UI V3. It was introduced in V3. So the field component more or less serves like a label for the input. So I import field right here. I put inputs inside of it. Now my field takes a label prop. And I'm just going to call this website URL and specify that this is a required field. Now, finally, within the card, we're also going to add in a card dot footer component. This card dot footer is where we're going to put in our button. So we add in button right here, import it, and just say generate URL code. Okay, let's see what we have. Yeah, I think it's taking shape already. Um, couple of tweaks. I'm gonna make the button occupy the full width. I'm just gonna say width is full. Now we need to display the generated QR code. So in terms of layout, I want the QR code to sit just you know on the right of this website details card. So to do this, we're gonna actually flex, you know, introduce the flex component. So I'm going to add in flex here and then within our flex, we'll add in this first card root. Perfect. We add in the padding top of 16. In fact, I'm going to make this responsive. So I'm going to set the base, base to 6 and then set MD to 16. Justify would be space between. I'll give it a gap of six. And the direction as well, I want this to be responsive. So on base cranes, it's going to have a colon direction and a colon direction. And on large or medium screens, it's going to have a row direction. Okay, now that I have the styles on my flex, I can go in to create the display for the QR code component. So I add in another card, card.root. And within the card.body component, Within the body, I need to add a QR code that allows users to download it. So we have an example of this in the Chakra UI documentation. So I'm just going to go over to the documentation. This is it. Go to code and just copy this code right here. So I paste it in. And of course, I need to import all of this. So we check again and we see that, yeah. We see the QR code is being displayed here, but I need this first card to span the remaining width. So I'm going to add in a flex one to that card. I also add in a width of four to my download button right here, width of four. It also sets the size of my QR code to Excel, which is extra large. So the QR code component comes in various sizes. So remember to check the documentation as a reference point. So now it's time to make our application interactive and work. We need to be able to extract the details from this input field and pass it as a value to our QR code. So first things first, let's improve our input. We need to give it a name pop and call this URL and a type as well of URL. To make this application function properly, we need to introduce some states. So we'll scroll all the way up and introduce a state that stores the input value. So I'm just going to call it input value and use set input value to change the state. We're going to be using new state here. And since we're using TypeScript, you just define the use state as it can be either a string or it can be undefined. 
we've defined the slice of tit here. So now we want to add and hook it up to a form. So we'll scroll down to where we have the card and the input. So at the top right here, add in a form and wrap the form around the body like so. On submit, we set the input value to e dot current target dot url dot value awesome and since this is a form let's not forget to add a prevent default as well the last thing we need to do is to hook up the value of the state to our qr code so in terms of the value we're just going to add in our value as input value or an empty string that's about it. Let's test out our application and see it in action. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it into our generate code. Oops, of course, it doesn't work because our button is not set to submit. So we scroll down to our button. Yep, this button right here. And we set the type to submit. And of course, this form should actually wrap just before the root. It should wrap the front as well and contain the button. So let's go back and try this out. So I paste this in and generate QR code. And of course, it works. Don't forget to check out the documentation to explore more features and flexibility that the QR code provides.